Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Manhunt Checkpoint on the uh, Lawrence Place channel. And oh god, I've got to drive all the way to the airport loop. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, we are playing Manhunt Checkpoint. So I have to try and take all of the checkpoints. The hunters have to try and stop me taking the checkpoints. They will do this by, by uh, committing horrific violence upon me and ramming my car off the road, shooting me. You know, all the, all the sort of normal lovely things they like to do. That was Mike, one of the hunters. Um, I was driving slightly evasively. Hopefully he didn't notice. Let's find out. I don't see him. Um, good. I might have got away with that. So I'm driving. I drove this in the um, in the last run I did, um, which may or may not make it to a video. We shall see because it uh, was it didn't last as long as I uh, I like the runs to. Um, but it turned out to be I don't know. It was it was okay. I snuck through a checkpoint in it uh, without anyone seeing and didn't get into a chase. So I don't know how it performed in a chase. But it's a a reasonably subtle car, I guess, in that it's not the sort of car I would normally drive because it's an SUV and I don't really like SUVs. They have this bad habit of falling over when you try and corner too quickly, especially if you clip a curb in them. But it looks like it looks like it's based on the Lamborghini, I can't remember what the name of that SUV is, and I probably should have looked it up, but I didn't. Um, so if it is actually a Lamborghini under the hood, then that might mean it's quite quick. So we shall uh, see. It may, it may do quite well in a chase. But for now, there's a hunter. What's he doing? Apart from looking suspicious. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. I don't think he's going to be suspicious of me because I've not done anything wrong. He's more likely to be suspicious of the car right in front of me. Which didn't like him climbing on it. Let's try and drive off like an AI at this point. Oh dear, I've shot my tyres. I think that means I need to try and go a little bit more quickly, which is going to be slightly difficult because, as previously mentioned, they've shot out my tyres. Um, okay, so the, uh, hey, let's take that vehicle, it's nice and subtle approach doesn't seem to have worked very well. Although, to be honest, I don't see anyone actually chasing me, which is interesting, given that they attacked. Um, let's just abandon this car here and take something a bit quicker. Now this is this actually is a sports car, so I can't hang on to it for too long. I mean, I can use it to drive down to the um, the airport, sure. That's, ab that's absolutely fine. No problems with that. Um, but I can't actually use it to take the checkpoint because it's a sports car. The, uh, the rules are that you can't take checkpoints in sports and supercars. So what I'm gonna do, I think, and this is one of those plans that will probably last until I have a crash or there's some reason to change change it but what I intend to do is drive down to the airport perhaps go into the middle car park get another car get onto the airport loop and then try and take the checkpoint from the upper loop area um, where on earth am I? right ok I am going the right way more or less I need to turn right here to get onto the airport loop then go down Yeah, this is about right. Okay. So we head in here, down the ramp, and then I can get into the car park that's in the middle of the big airport loop, somewhere along here, and I can pick up a new car in there, in here, this this car park here. Now, hopefully, my circle is, of course, shrinking faster than normal because I'm in a sports car, which is um, a change that's been made since, uh, since last week's sessions. So I want to get out of this sports car reasonably quickly. There's another car. Right, let's take I'm taking that. And it's a, it's a reasonably nice car actually. It's a, it's a coupe, so it's got to, going to have a bit of speed about it. Um uh, but hope but it won't it won't have the um the, the circle size penalty that the other one was giving me. No don't go up. <laughs> let's try and get out of this car park. I know I'm going the wrong way around it, but if I'm spotted in a car park, I'm doomed anyway because cars don't tend to drive around in car parks very much. They do it very, very occasionally, but it's pretty rare. Oh, hang on, I can't get back onto the upper loop from here. Ah, so much for that plan. Ooh, unless... Maybe I can do it on foot. Yes, here we go. Here's a plan, especially as I think that's Mike over there. Ooh, I don't like trying to run with a controller. <laughs> Right, so up here, 
I need to steal a car. Sounds like way hard work. Here's a car. I almost don't care what it is. Well, alright, we'll take... This is a Jeep Renegade? I'm not sure. I don't know my Jeeps very well, but... I think the driver had got out of this Jeep. It's bizarre. Right, so, where was I? Yes, what I'm going to do is trundle around here. And if we stay on the upper one, you can't get out of the airport this way. But you can take the checkpoint, because the checkpoint bleeds... Enough of the checkpoint bleeds through to this upper level. That I can drive through here like this. And... Yes, take the checkpoint. There we go. Explode. Right. Now, the problem with this is there's no real way to get out of here now without going past exactly where the checkpoint was or by breaking the traffic laws. And I don't really object to breaking traffic laws on sort of moral grounds or anything, but it does make me stand out a bit if I'm a car driving the wrong way along the, along the freeway like this. So let's get out of here as quickly as possible and then try and switch over to the other side of the road like this. There we go. Now we can head away and think about the next checkpoint. Which is on the beach. Okay. Um, so last time I went from airport to beach, I um, I swam across the um, swam across. I think they worked out that I did that because there wasn't really any other realistic way that I could have done what I did. So I'm not going to do that this time. I am going to drive over there in an actual car like a normal person. Um, but I'm going to go in a bit of a hurry. Because I want to get kind of past it and then try and come in from an odd direction if I can. I'm not sure whether I really can. Um, maybe if I, if I turn left, yeah, if I turn left here, this will at least take me in towards the uh, the general beach area, and I can head along from there. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm hoping I don't end up in a chase in this car, because it's not that quick. Um, we'll just have to see how it gets on, though. So, the question is, at this point, what is the circle doing? Because if the circle is showing that I'm basically heading north up here, then going this way isn't really going to help me. However, if the circle is sort of lurking around near the checkpoint, then me going around this way to approach it from an unexpected direction could work quite well. We were talking at uh, at one point about whether it would be worth um, having having the uh, the circle visible to the prey, so that they can they can sort of play with it a bit and and sort of use that extra information. Now, it would change the game quite a lot because it would give the prey quite a lot of extra information. Um, it would change my playstyle completely because I'd know what the circle was doing. I'd be able to try and try and play it essentially, but. Is that a bad thing? Would it make the game more interesting? Maybe it would. Um, we don't really know. Ooh, let's go this way, actually. Because I think last time I took this checkpoint, I approached it from the other direction. I did actually approach it from the other direction. I did the big loop round and try and come in from an non-obvious way. So this time, let's be a little bit more obvious. I've done the bit of a loop there in order to try and throw them off a little bit. But now if I head down... I head down this road. Maybe they'll think I'm going round the other side of the canals. Maybe they won't, and I'll just have to sneak past them using my um, guile and cunning. It, who knows? <laughs> we'll see. How, we'll see how it goes when the lights turn green, and I can start to head down here. <clears throat> I am once again using a fairly nondescript vehicle. It's a, it's a grey SUV. There's loads of them in the city. It's not one of the sort of the, the sporty coupes that I personally favour as a is actually desirable cars so potentially it won't draw as much attention although on the flip side they kind of expect me to um, be trying to not stick out so yeah it's a tricky it's just a tricky sort of dilemma I to decide whether to um, whether to use the, the 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 fast cars that will be good for me if I get into a chase or the slower cars that will be more likely to sneak through. Now we're getting hunters all over the place. I almost wish I hadn't come this way. So we've got uh, Pete right next to me there. I saw Mike ahead of me earlier. I saw Mark whiffling around a minute ago. There's quite a lot of them around. Pete is being aggressive because of course he is.
Why is Pete harassing me like this? <laughs> what would an AI do in this context? Right, I'm playing dead now to see if that helps. Um, I can't really tell what's going... No, he's going out. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> do not want. Lots and lots of do not want. Um, playing dead didn't work very well. Maybe you can tell the difference between ducking and dead. <laughs> Either way, it didn't work, so I'm um, I'm going to flee. And <clears throat> Okay, there's Pete behind me with the lack of headlights. Um... Nope, that's not headlights, that's uh, radio. There we go, that's lack of headlights for me as well. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so he's not too far behind. Can I get round this corner? Yes, yes I can. Can he get round this corner? Yes, yes he can. Oh no, now I've gone to the pedestrian bit. I am terrible at this pedestrian bit. I always have trouble with this because it's really tight, narrow and awkward and it's full of street furniture. <laughs> No, it's just, just it's just locked. No, and we've got into a chase now, so that means my um, my circle is shrinking faster than it's um. Than it, 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 bleh, can't talk. I've got into a chase now, so it's wasting wasting circle size essentially, because I'm going to end up. Ooh, I've lost him a bit somehow. I don't know how or when because I was too busy concentrating on the road. Um, but yeah, if if my um, if I spend too long in a chase then my circle will end up shrinking down to the point where I can uh, no longer escape, I suppose. Uh, to the point to the point where it gets so small that eventually the hunters will be able to tell who I am, where I am, that sort of thing. Right, I'm going to take this car, whatever it is. Oh, no, I'm not. The hunters are everywhere suddenly. Yes. Oh. Someday I will learn to look behind me before I start thinking about changing cars. Today is apparently not that day. It's, I'm aware it's a mistake I keep making. But <laughs> that worked fairly well, I guess. It punched the Windsor off in, a, in the in the wrong direction. Anyway, let's see if I can resist. Ooh, no, I can't resist Mark's attempts at uh, punting me, or Tristan's attempts at punting me. This is going to be tricky. As I was saying earlier, I'm not in the ideal car for a chase. Um, it's not exactly quick. It doesn't handle particularly brilliantly, and it's a bit lumbery because you know it's an SUV. What do you expect? Um, and that means if I if I do get punted sideways, I'm not going to struggle to um, regain control, and therefore struggle to keep it doing what I want it to do. Uh, it's going to it's just going to end up sliding. Probably get punted into a wall, and then be difficult to deal with. Oops. Ooh, like that. Yeah, this is not the right car for the job. Um, I mean, it, on the on the other hand, it's resilient because it's an SUV, so it's, it's fairly tough. It's going to take quite a beating before it before it fails and stops working. I mean, if you look at the front of Mark's car, he's, his is doing possibly as badly as mine. I kind of want a pack of sticky bombs that I can throw at the hunters to, when they're pushing me around a bit like this, but... <laughs> No, I think that, that would be um, perhaps a little unfair. Oh, there's still three of them there. I need somewhere where I can pull some sort of sh clever shenanigan. Um, this is going to be tricky, though, because... That sort of thing keeps happening to me, basically. I'm in trouble now. I'm pushed into a, into a confined space. I think there's nothing I can do apart from try and get out. And get shot like that. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm thinking Westside Shopping Centre. Heading south. Yeah. Which is based on what we learned last time. and janky lane manoeuvring. Oh no, voice line, never mind. Hello. Hello. 
mildly curious of the blue SUV that way. I think I got one of its tyres, but I've lost it now. I assume he switched cars because um, I think he drove through the um, south side of the loop and I lost him there. Seems entirely possible. There's quite a few nice cars in these various car parks. He might also be trying to do it on foot. Taking a taxi. Heading. Mm, don't think it's actually him. Pete's blocking. No, it's not him. He's not bad. <clears throat> no, but I got a pistol over it. Oh, okay. Got a car reversing here. No, it's now. He's Circle is fast moving. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> I'm just going to try the highway just in case. Sure he is, he's not I've got him, he's in a um, a grey 4x4 I think, I'm heading away from the checkpoint at the moment. What about uh, heading up past uh, construction site, yeah definitely him. Taking a left just for construction site. Uh, we are heading northwest. Uh, past Chinese monument. It's like a forester or whatever those are. Um, okay, heading up yeah, to the circle has just suddenly lurched in that direction. Yeah, passing colourful car park now. His character yeah. model is a black guy with a kind of a blonde a faux hawk type thing. Guess Heading down. Uh, got on the pedestrian okay. zone. Okay. Yeah, he's he's just rolled in the pedestrian zone. Still heading down pedestrian zone. Uh, heading southish. Ah, I crashed. Damn it. Ah, I'm stuck. What's Took a right at the bottom there, Tristan. Uh, I don't see anyone. Uh, Grey is you, right? Yes, that's right. I have him, he's going uh, Top end of towards the, the studio. Turning north by the movie studios and entrance. Lights are off, lights are back on. Uh, oh, lights are off. But, yeah, that's a brake light. Turning turn turn towards heading. Life Invader. Oh no, back uh, okay. Turning west towards uh, and then north. I think we might be heading towards the golf course now. I'm not sure. Yep, you are, you are, yes. I'm just tracking you on the map. Heading back south again. Oh no, east now. Uh, yep, east now. Heading back west towards the beat. Oh no, sorry, this. Excuse 
you see him, Mark? Uh, yes. Uh, Where we're south of um, yeah. golf course. Towards five boys. Where are you guys now? Low car parks. Uh, low car parks. Okay. South into what hotels? Approaching Alice Customs. He crashed. Behind him. I'm getting up. That was rather dramatic. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays for some more Manhunt Checkpoint. And we're playing with fairly similar rules to what we what you're what you're probably used to by now. Uh, we've got the um, let's see, what what have we got? We've got the standard checkpoint type run, so I need to get down to the airport loop as you can, as you can clearly see there. Uh, let's try this lane actually, because we want to go that way. Um, and uh, well, let's see, we're, and we're playing with oh, that's interesting. Right, I can see the circle. So, we're not quite the normal rules. We're playing with... So, we are playing with the, the uh, circle of guidance to help the hunters find me. But we've done, we've um, changed one of the settings now, so I can see the circle as well. And so, we're going to see how this goes for sort of tactics and curiosities and things like that. So, this this should, in theory, give me a lot of potential to, to do interesting things. So, the hunters always know that I am somewhere in this green circle that you can see on my minimap. And for change, I can see it as well. Um, and when I get to the edge of the circle, the circle will jump to a, a different position. So instead of, so, uh, so I will still always be in the circle, but it will jump so that I'm somewhere randomly in it, rather than rather than being right on the edge of it or in the middle of it or anything like that. So the circle is completely static until I ping it by getting to the edge. And because I know where the circle is and therefore can tell where the edge is, I can I have a bit of control over this. So I can look at it and go right, okay, so. I can, when I go past the, um, when I get into the ghetto, the circle is going to jump. However, they might think I'm over that way towards Chinese Monument, and we'll find out which way it jumps when we uh, when we get to that point. If we get to that point, if this light ever changes and I get to go anywhere. So at the moment, the circle's probably quite big. The hunters are around trying to find me, of course, because that's their, that's their job. They have to try and find me, hunt me down, kill me before I get all the checkpoints. I have to get all the checkpoints without being killed. If I get spotted, then we get to have a nice race and uh, and, and a chase around the city, or around potentially around the entire island if I go far enough. So I've picked myself a reasonably good car for this. I've got an Oracle, which is my old favourite. It's a cliche, I know, but it's a, it's a, it's a good vehicle, so I think it's, it's 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 worthwhile. It's worth using, especially when I'm afraid I might get, end up getting into a chase at some point. It's perhaps not the best car for driving into the ghetto with because it's um, it, it doesn't really fit in there but to be honest it's it's a reasonably nondescript car I like to think it fits in almost anywhere so we'll see how it goes the are hunters are fairly used to me using this car though because it is a sort of as I say it's, it's a bit of a sort of a sort of favorite now looking at the map the circle has moved which is a bit weird because I haven't been to the edge of it yet so I don't know why that happened it is also shrinking so maybe it's something to do with that um, the circle does shrink as I move around inside, as I as I as as time passes. Oh dear, the Santa car's turning up. Oh dear, oh dear, I didn't change my outfit. Oh, this one isn't too bad actually. Mark is following me quite close behind. I want him to get lost before I t before I ping the circle. So the one thing I need to try not to do is to ping the edge of the circle when there's a hunter around, because if I do that, they'll know they'll have a very good idea of where I am. But since Mark has gone, I can feel reasonably safe about touching the edge of it like this. And having it jump, there we go. Ooh, it's gone all the way over there. That's a concern. So maybe at this point I should be turning right to try and stay in the circle and get down that book. I don't know. I'm gonna ping it and they're all gonna chase me. 
like that. Seriously? Yeah, Mark is following me. Oh, maybe he's not. Maybe he's going after a car further ahead, actually. So what I want to do now is try not to ping the circle again, but there's nowhere else to go. I'm going to have to do it. He's going to know it's me. Let's try and go this way. Yep, he knows it's me. All right. The pinging of the circle has really given me away there. So that's quite interesting. It's um, it's very different in that I know, I know when I'm going to ping the circle. And I go, oh no, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. But then not be able to turn off that road. That was quite interesting. Um, normally with this mode, I don't know where the... Um, where St. Lawrence, drive properly. Talk, can't talk and drive at the same time. Right. Normally, I don't know where the edge of the circle is, so I can't, uh, I can't tell when I'm about to ping it. But with this now, because I do know, I have that extra bit of control, and I should therefore be able to pull off a slightly better escape. At least that's the or make the hunters a bit less suspicious. That's the theory. In practice, well, <laughs> you can see how well that's working. There's a hunter right behind me. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's right behind me, so it doesn't matter whether I ping the circle or not, because they, they, they know where... Oh dear. Let's go this way. I said this way. Apparently the car disagreed. Alright, this way then. Um, let's boot the circle again and go this way. So, yeah, it's... <laughs> Pete's struggling a bit there, because he's inside the um, railway lines. Okay, I have both Mark and Tristan behind me, so... Yeah, it's... Um, not ideal for a um, yeah. So at this point, the circle is completely irrelevant. They know where I am. They can sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of, maybe mostly follow me. Um, I just need to try and. But it does mean I know. You probably saw me do that. Yes, he did. It means I know where they, um, where they expect me to be, and therefore I can try and be at least a little bit evasive. Um, what am I trying to say? I know what area to be evasive inside, so no, I'm just going to go around this block again. <laughs> so if I do think I've lost them, I need to be very careful not to make the circle move. Because if the circle moves, it gives them a load of information about which direction I've gone. Oh, for goodness sake, that was too solid. Ah. So I need to try and... Yes, if, if, if I think I've got away, then I need to try and stay inside the circle. Um, so as not to give them too much more information, at least until I feel like I've regrouped. Or, alternatively, I could reckon that it's worth it to get away. If I think I'm getting away, then maybe I should try and make... Should... Oh! I'm rolling my cars so much today. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting silly. Don't hit my tyres, don't hit my tyres. Shoot up the car all you want, but don't get the tyres. That's all I ask. Right. How many have I got now? I've got, okay, I've got uh, Mark and Pete. Tristan, it must have been Tristan who got out and did the shooting then. Oh, for goodness sake! What is wrong with my driving today? Why can I apparently not drive? There's Tristan. Let's see if we can avoid driving into him. Yes, there we go. Now it's going to take him a little while to turn around. Not quite as long as it does when he's in a micro light, but it will at least make things a little bit more difficult for him because he has to turn that boat of a wind around. He is getting better at doing that though, and I do still have Mark to deal with. So this is going to, this is turning into quite a good chase. Um, I just need to, oh, I need to stop crashing. Oh, uh, that was, I had a little bit of help that time, but still. Oh no, I got stuck on that parking meter. I couldn't push it over because I was going so slowly. Oh. That was a very clear... Red car, red sedan. Moving south. Yes, that's him. Turned left. Uh... I'm behind you. Going round the arena. Yeah. Uh, back into ghetto. Missing a tail light. 
uh, on the tram, tram lines, uh, but turn west. Uh, just looping around there. Uh, passing Megamore down the alley uh, on the uh, north, uh, the west side of it, I think. Uh, not sure where we are. Oh, train lines. Uh, heading along train lines towards Storm Drain. Right, I'm at Rails Cross now. Still going northeast. Uh, onto the train lines north. themselves. Uh, that tree. Turn back. Uh, heading the other way along the train lines back towards Rails yeah. Cross. There you go. One side of the thing is a big barrier there. <laughs> Switch uh, west. Northwest, yep. Passing the hospital. Turned right. Thank you. Oh, that bloody telegraph pole doesn't fall uh, over. Oh, right, we're way south of the scrapyard. Heading back to the uh, train lines. And turned right immediately. Around the other side of the hospital. Oh, nah. there you go, beach. I tried to... <laughs> Hit yeah. him, but missed. Uh, it's going round clockwise round that building, the car park. Uh, heading towards the scrapyard, along the train lines, uh, but immediately turn left. Uh, half pinned him, uh, we've got away. Heading towards square of squares, I think. Yes. Yep. Straight over the junction. Passing Heading west, west. Down square squares. West from southwest junction. Southwest corner. Going straight west. Uh, right at the top Chandra. end of the Frank. Yeah. Frank, uh, Frank. He flipped. Probably worth not hitting him if he flips, just to keep him over by some time. Might have got a tyre. Back right. Left behind there. Was that right towards square square? Uh, higher, lower. Correct. We'll turn right. Right on the northern side of square squares. And he's coming back the same way. Yeah. Don't get out of the way. Turn right. <laughs> uh, where the cut structure is and lower. Right into the tunnel to hospital. Across. Turned right. Flipped. Getting out. Yeah, got him. Nice. Shouldn't bother going for the tire. Uh, so much rolling yeah. today. <laughs> I well, that was a fun hunt. Do you know what happened at the end there? I got stuck with the back of my car against a parking meter. Oh yeah! So I, I couldn't get <laughs> enough speed up to knock it over. <laughs> I got trapped behind a parking meter. That's ridiculous. Thanks, that was there for you. 